Hey traders and investors, it's Serge Berger here. Today, as we are standing in front of a three-day weekend, at least as far as the U.S. markets and the U.K. markets are concerned, I want to just quickly go through uh, some very important matters as far as relaxing on the weekend goes. One of my very first uh, mentors told me that uh, as a trader, I need to really, really find some time to relax in the weekend. And I got to tell you, you know, as an ambitious young buck when I first started out in this business, you know, 14, 15 years ago, uh, I didn't really understand that until uh, probably about uh, four to five years ago. Um, of course, that comes with age and experience, but uh, I used to fall in the trap of, of analyzing charts uh, pretty much all weekend, you know, Saturday afternoon uh, and then all day Sundays. Um, and I tell you, when I came in on Monday, I just simply wasn't relaxed. I didn't have that step back that we all uh, really need, that step back from the market, because the market, uh, as much as, as I tend to have a, a fairly fairly um, uh, relaxed uh, trading and, and investing method, there is a lot of news to, dig to digest. And subconsciously, it's a lot of stuff we don't really understand. So. Taking a step back from the market is extremely important during the weekend. Doesn't mean you can't look at a single chart. In fact, I always spend a few hours doing some stuff on Sunday in preparation for Monday. But it shouldn't be something where literally you get up Saturday morning, right back in front of your computer, uh, and you kind of sit there through throughout Sunday evening because there becomes a point of diminishing returns um, in anything, right? Just like uh, if you work out your biceps seven days a week, that uh, has a it's uh, it's um, negative effect as well, and if we just can't take a, a step back, it it allows it doesn't allow us to to see everything things in perspective. So things that you can do to help, you know, obviously do your favorite hobby. You know, the more relaxing, the better. The more away from the markets, the better. Uh, if your hobby is to talk about the financial markets at cocktail parties, that may not be the best thing, uh, best uh, hobby either for, from that point of view. But things like yoga have really helped me over the years to calm down. You know, anything in nature. I do a lot of mountain biking. You know, even golf, a lot of uh, snowboarding in the winter, uh, and skiing and cross-country skiing, particularly things like that, that really kind of connect you, you know, with yourself and with nature, um, and you, where you can really forget. And 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 the thing is, you also get really clear thoughts that way. So this is not, you know, just for trading. That this obviously, you know, uh, is something that's good for anyone, any profession, to to take a step back. But it, particularly in trading, where we we do tend to have extremely busy weeks, um, or at least intense weeks when the market's open, um, it's extremely important that we that we take a step back uh, and and relax so I hope this makes sense as always if you got any questions uh, on anything trading related you can shoot me uh, a message on Twitter my Twitter handle is steady trader have a great weekend and take some time to relax take care